We've done a lot of garden cleanup over the last week. Still have all the stuff on the cage and the tunnel here. So the four cattle panels put together and the two tall eight and ones put together in the two foot formation. Alyssum and Ageratum flowers are still doing really well, so I'm letting those go. I've got some of the peas on the back here. So we'll see if I can get any fall peas. It's the first time trying them, and I think I planted them a little late. We went from really hot to um, kind of cold pretty quick here, so we'll see how those do. I've got a cucamelon that seems to have uh, come in a little late. Um, it's grown, uh, let's see, there's another one part here, and it's grown into this web, so it'll be interesting to see if we get any. Um, I don't think we will at this point in the season. We've got the um, broccoli. It's uh, 36 days to maturity broccoli. Uh, I don't think I'm getting the 36 days. Um, I think we're already over 36 days, so um, we'll see. It, Really, uh, with not like everything else gone in the garden, these are getting hit pretty heavily with the bugs. Um, I have dill seed I need to collect, although it's a little, a little late. Um, a lot of it has already been uh, kind of fallen off or picked off. Um, I do have some basil. It's protected still back down in here, but most of the basil has now been pulled or cut out and then I've got some gorgeous dill that I need to come in and harvest to dry. I have a couple other late cucumbers here. Um, not looking the healthiest. They're in there. Um, so that's fun. And then the wall of the tomatoes still picking out every other day and um, kind of waiting for that first really hard frost. Got some carrots, parsley. Oh, this is the large flat leaf parsley. Um, celery here. It's pretty healthy. Some more celery. Some more of the brassicas. And then um, I let a bunch of the lettuce bolt and go to flower. And we're still picking beans. Um, and I do need to still come back and harvest all of the um, dried beans for seeds for next season. I pulled most of the bell peppers and I did post a video about that, um, kind of finishing the season. We hit 75.5 pounds of bell peppers for the season out of this bed. Which is pretty crazy. There's 32 plants, so that's just over two pounds per plant. And the average bell pepper size, to give you an idea, is between five and six ounces, the ones that I'm, I'm growing. We did have a few that were uh, much, much larger. Um, but there are technically still peppers on here. And I figured we'd see if we could get through those couple really cold nights that we had. Um, planned and, and we did so um, we'll see how long these go and if I can harvest more I will um, over here this is the cayenne hot pepper bed with the poblanos and some of the Thai chilies so at this point um, we did cut these back we need well we will cut them back further um, but to harvest it's easier to just cut the branch and then um, pull everything off the branch versus trying to harvest in the bed or cut the whole thing at once um, and these are a bit like tree trunks. Um, they're very, very sturdy and thick. Um, so with that, 
um, they will take a little bit more of like a mini handsaw. So you can see all the different stems that are left. Um, I still have some carrots in here. Um, there are uh, some lettuce that is bolted. Uh, status for some of the flowers and a few other things. Oh, adjuratum, celery. Over here, we did end up par um, cutting down the uh, Brussels sprouts. They were got really buggy, um, just a little too buggy for us. So you can see we've cut them down here. And we still have these beets growing and then more of the short season broccoli. The leaves are just so pretty. This bed, we've got our carrots. These were the late carrots that I planted and they're actually doing really well, which I'm excited about. I haven't gotten time to come back and plant in some more of the kales and, um, and items here in this corner where we pulled the potatoes. Um, but these are doing really well and they're pretty healthy. Um, I do need to weed them. But um, at this point, uh, whatever I can get for growth is great. And um, ideally we'll have a good hard frost before I pick them so that the sugar content's good. But um, pretty happy with these. I'm pretty sure they're Danvers, st Danvers storage carrots, but I really should check that. Um, and then the lettuce is starting to finally come into it so we'll be able to actually have some of this red leaf very very soon got the sweet potato beds we didn't do anything with again um, but this lettuce is really looking great we will probably have that for lunch tomorrow so excited about that coming back Another row. <laughs> Get the full foliage view here. Um, these were the guajillos, a couple cayennes, and um, then the picnic peppers. You can see again, it kind of, all the stems are, are pretty strong and sturdy. I grew all of the peppers from seed. Actually, I grew probably about 90 to 95% of everything in this garden from seed this year. Um, we've got some massive carrots, um, so I need to pick those to make some carrot chips with the new freeze dryer. I am thinking about transplanting the smaller cellar rack into the hoop house to see um, if I can keep it growing. Um, here's an example of a much healthier one. So, um, We'll see on how that goes. And then I do have these wonderful snapdragons that um, I have been picking and putting in bouquets for my office. Guess why not, right? Um, this was the poblano bed and guajillo bed. And we've got a bunch of celery that I transplanted in late. These celeries actually were all planted in the large 27 foot tomato bed. Um, and then they got eaten by the bunnies. So these poblanos were absolutely massive. Some of these were the ones that I started um, really early February, uh, maybe even end of January this past year. And they did so fantastic. I might have to do that again. Uh, the difference between the size of pepper that a really mature plant can handle and versus a smaller, younger plant like this is night and day. It's almost like double the size of the fruit it can put out. We are planning on um, freeze drying a bunch of the celery so that we can make um, more celery salt, which would be fun. Got a bunch of snapdragons here. I didn't take out the basil yet um, from this whiskey barrel. Um, I figured I'd just leave it for the fall. Most of the 
beds over here have been cleaned out because most of these were tomatoes. Um, these were the San Marzanos. Looks like we had somebody digging in here. Um, I've left the Alyssa and we've got parsley I can harvest still. And this cherry tomato needs to get taken out at this point. Um, and I do have this fun amaranth left. Some ageratum. There are a few smaller onions that I had left in here. I've got some broccoli here. I do have some of the kale starts and more lettuce. A um, bunch of carrots, another celery root. I haven't taken the two ounce tomatoes down yet. Um, I picked them pretty thoroughly though. So those may have a few more that we get off of this plant, but uh, not holding my breath on that. A bunch of baby lettuce here, some more parsleys, marigold, snapdragons in the middle, and lissom. And uh, the spinach is very disappointing. Um, it, it bolted and it makes no sense. So uh, I was really hoping for some uh, spinach late into the season. Um, these carrots also were pretty disappointing. These ones I planted well before the carrots in that back bed over there. And uh, you can tell it's not, not going to make it um, before the end of our season here. We've got dill and these were the serranos and jalapenos and pepperoncinis. And then I've got a bunch of celery in here also, um, as well as the parsley. And again, a little disappointed with the beets. These were supposed to be for beet greens. They are growing incredibly slowly. I'm not sure what's going on in this bed. Um, probably need to loosen it all up and um, add some fertilizers for next season and some new compost. One of the reasons I've left the alyssum, even though it looks a little raggy at this point, is really for the bees. And uh, having late flowers is really important for the pollinators. And so even when things start looking pretty messy, I still try to leave some of them. So I did take out a whole bunch of the alyssum as some of the prep work to to this last bed here, um, but I left some here and there um, to make sure that the bees had um, and the other pollinators had some more to go. Picked through all the tomatoes really on this. I think there's a couple left that I might have missed. The lower and lean trellis bed. This is 27 feet long. It's four of the eight and one birdies put together. And Overall, um, I'm guessing that I have somewhere around 70 to 80 pounds of green tomatoes. <laughs> so uh, we've been looking up green tomato recipes again for this year. Um, uh, we're thinking maybe we'll try some freeze-dried green tomato chips with some um, different seasonings on them uh, and see how Jace likes those for snacks. I do also have onions in here still. Um, onions can take some, some cold, um, so we'll see how long I can keep them growing. And then I have some two very massive celery patches here. It'll be crazy when we finally pick them. I, I don't know what we'll do with all of this celery. We still have celery from last year. It was the first time growing celery from seed, um, so I grew a ton in case we had issues with it. And <laughs> we didn't end up having issues with it besides the uh, wonderful bunnies getting a snack. But the garden's done really well this year. I'm pretty happy with it. We are well over 700 pounds of harvest this season. I should have final numbers in about a month or so. And I get to enjoy all of the fall leaf uh, color changes right now. Uh -oh, we are in North Central Massachusetts, Zone 5B technically. And about 155 day growing season. 
on average. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Some of the things that I would like to try to get to do, but I think it might be too cold already, is do some um, beneficial nematodes in some of these beds so they'll go after the grubs. Um, all of the, you know, uh, potato and squash bug larvae, things like that. Um, and um, we did get another load of compost. It's only about three yards or so, I think. And so we need to get the garlic beds ready down in the field garden. So that's in the, on the list. I still need to clean up the flower beds, but they're still going right now. So I'm leaving those and I am, we still need to pull the corn and put the plastic down um, to cover the, the corn area of the garden and pull all of the squash plants. So still work to do out here. Hopefully keep getting some more nice weather. And if nothing else, at least we get to enjoy the wonderful fall colors. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.